of all, when you look at adoption of electronic health records across the entire hospital field, there has been tremendous progress. And we do expect another in a series of, of peer-reviewed uh, journal articles on hospital use of health IT in the coming months that will share progress in adoption of what's called a, a basic EHR. And so we have at least uh, three years of data on that and showing real increase, but we're really only at about 15% of hospitals who've met that definition. And that definition of a basic EHR is really much less than uh, what's required for meaningful use. So when you look at meaningful use and you look at this as, as federal policy, um, it's a big stretch for hospitals and a heavy lift. Um, and we have suggested to the federal government that, that maybe it's too much too soon and we're very grateful uh, for the changes that were made to the requirements between the proposed and final rule. Uh, but I think, you know, it's it's still very challenging uh, for hospitals to meet those requirements, particularly in the context of a program that's new and being stood up uh, as we speak, really. Everything from registering to the program to how Medicare's contractors cut the checks, that's all being built um, as we speak. And CMS has been very uh, transparent and provided ongoing data on how the program is unfolding. And, you know, I think it's fair to say uh, the money is flowing, but it's a very slow start. Uh, so the data that CMS shared uh, through the end of June uh, showed just over 500 folks um, actually meeting all of the meaningful use requirements and successfully attesting. And among those, there were 49 hospitals. Um, it was 561 was the number um, who have successfully attested to meaningful use. And, you know, that's a good start, but it's a, a far cry um, from what we will ho would hope um, could really benefit from these funds. Um, from the AHA's perspective, the Meaningful Use Incentive Program is really meant to support adoption, and it's meant to support progress over time. And the, the escalator that we're getting people on needs to have a reasonable first step. And so um, it's about 1% of hospitals and physicians um, so far uh, who have managed to get on that first step. And so we'll be monitoring uh, progress over time.